Buenas! That's the Shindang, and welcome to another video. Today we have a Big Mac salad, and um, we're gonna show you how to make it right here. So where did you find this recipe? Um, on Instagram. We've made this a few times before. So, it's really good. It's just as good as every, every other time. Look at this. I know you guys probably saw a close up earlier, but there's another one. I just like to mix everything up a little bit. Should I too? Let me see. If you want. I feel like when you do that and then you take a bite, it really just tastes like the Big Mac itself. Yeah, the sauce really does it. You guys gotta watch how she does the sauce. Go back to it. And try it out. Mm. This is our first time that we're gonna include the cooking and the mukbang, so let us know if you like it. If it's too much, not enough. Too fast. The burger meat actually, it's it actually really turned out pretty good. Yeah. Mm. The only issue we had was we yeah, didn't- Yeah, tell the story. We didn't defrost the burgers. Rookie. So we're standing out there with these five burgers that are just stuck together. We can't get them apart. I'm like hacking over there with a spatula. I'm trying to get them done. I'm like, Abner's trying to dry the floor. Dry the flown. Abner's trying to fly. I'm trying to dry it. <laughs> Abner's trying to fly the drone and try to get the shot of me putting the burgers on, and I'm like, they're stuck together. I can't. I can't undo it. So he has to land it, and then um, we saw some deer. Um, we're gonna we're gonna timestamp that. Are we? Um, Bambi came to visit. So it was like. It was like what? Okay, the mom, the dad, so and then twins. You there was the time. mom, and then there was a baby, and then there was another one. So assuming those are twins, and then um, there was a dad with his giant antlers. Well, well they weren't that big. Yeah, they're like medium size. It's the first time I've seen like. Uh, well, that's not the first. That's time. first time I've seen like in a while. One that close. Yeah, they're just like. Weird. I don't think. Have you ever seen a deer with like full antlers, like a giant set? Not in real life, not in person. Yeah, I've only seen like taxidermy, like, you know, hanging on the wall. Taxidermy. Yeah, they have that in um, like Southern restaurants or my parents had friends who were super into taxidermy and uh, they had a bear in their living room. And like, even though I knew it was fake, it just, it was absolutely terrifying. It was like 10 feet tall. It was like 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's like the <laughs> open season on them. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it's our first time uh, trying body armor drinks, or what is it, super drink. So I got the watermelon strawberry. What do you have? I think you got banana or something. Um, the banana and strawberry. You want to try it together? Mm hmm Sure. Cheers, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> it's better than Gatorade. Here, try it. I think I like the. I like the, the other one better. The strawberry. Yeah, me too. Strawberry's okay. the winner. This one's the winner. So we went and see. What was it? Last weekend, went to Wolf Trap here in Virginia. Last Friday. Yeah, Friday. We went to go see um, the live action orchestra for Harry Potter. The sixth part of Harry Potter, which, which is the Half Blood it? Prince. Is that the sixth one? Oh yeah, because yeah, because it's before Deathly seven Hollows, and yeah. eight. It's before the last two part. Yeah. So that means that's the six. <laughs> we can do math, yay. <laughs> the only bad thing was, was that um, the screen that was in the middle had a big red pixel and um, they didn't fix it until after an Oh audition. yeah, it was, a, it was a dead, they were all dead. It was like red, mm -hmm. it was huge. But I mean, it wasn't too, um, it wasn't too annoying. The music was tough. I mean, it's just the music from the movie, but mm -hmm. we've seen it live, it's just a different experience. That being said, we got another one coming up. So this upcoming Saturday, um, we're gonna go with my parents and it's gonna be the first Toy Story and it's gonna be the same thing. Are y'all hip? Because I just got hip last week to Sardi's. We ate this the last two nights for dinner with mm. tacos. I don't know if they exist only in Maryland or the DMV area. And if it does, that's unfortunate. But if you live around here, Sardi's. They also have a um, a non-spicy flavor, but Abner and I are super... <laughs> <laughs> that was like... <coughs> Abner and it's I are spicy, super though. into spice, um, so we like the jalapeno one. What? This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it jalapeno? <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit because I don't want to ruin the mac sauce, you know. It makes me want to have tacos again. I hope it doesn't fall. Oh my. That would be so good on a um a, a gyro, gyro, however you want to pronounce it. Gyro. Gyro. And gyros. And gyros. Gyro. Gyro. <laughs> so, last um mukbang, I told you guys that I started Invisalign. I'm currently on my second trays. I'm about what would you say? Four to five days in? I don't even remember, dude. <laughs> okay, well, I started Last my- Last Friday, right? So it was like three days, no, four days ago? Sorry, I didn't mean to run through it. No, it's okay, I have something in my mouth. I finished you got it, you got it Friday. So, so that was four days ago. We looked it up and they recommend that when you change your trays, you put them in the night before. So you pop them in and you go to bed. That way while you're sleeping, your teeth can adjust and it doesn't hurt as bad. I'd also recommend each time you put a new tray in the first time, I'd recommend either taking a Tylenol or an Advil if you just don't wanna deal with the pain. Um, I don't think I did, but it wasn't as bad as the first. The first tray was unbearable. So I'm very, very grateful and blessed that yeah, it doesn't hurt as much. Yeah, you don't complain much. I complained. The first tray, she was complaining a lot. I complained for like the first five days. Every day, I was like, my teeth, my teeth, my teeth. And as you just said, now it's kind of rare. Here and there. Towards the end of the day, it's usually when they hurt the most. Because I'm like, ooh, my like gums are kind of sore. Mm. You gotta catch up. I know. You gotta slow down. 
Did you get? Did you spray yourself? I don't know. Probably got bit by mosquitoes. Mm. This is actually really good. I'm gonna drink your drink. Mm. Antioxidants. Got all these vitamins in here. Let's get it. Do you think we should get a juicer to make like green juice and stuff? I feel like we do. We, we have get... a bullet. Yeah, but that's for smoothies and stuff. That's not a juicer. Oh, I guess. I guess I. To make like yeah. pure juice. Yeah, I guess. My mom has one. Yeah, my coworker used to have one, and he would brought in like carrot juice and like Dude, beet my dad juice used to, uh, and like. He would only do carrot juice for so long. Yeah, I just feel like. It's so good. And if we get the ingredients like bulk at the farmers market or um, Sam's Club where we have a membership, um, I just feel like it would be a good way to get our vitamins and nutrients in. those nutrients or antioxidants oh you're getting there yeah i hope you guys are uh, in it for the long run we got a lot of good videos planned out as far as like vlogs and travel videos so i'm gonna work hard on them and see how they turn out all right we're all done she's finally done 20 minutes later so adios Good night, and thank you guys so much for watching